what's going on? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I am Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by for another beer review. Today we've got one from none other than uh, Untitled Art. This is going to be West Coast style IPA. Uh, let's see, 6.7%. This is a version two of this beer, by the way. Uh, this is hopped with Simcoe, Chinook, Citra, and Centennial. Um, yeah, Brooding Can by Untitled Art in Wanaki, Wisconsin. So, I thought this was kind of odd. We're in the month of February. The bottle shop just got this beer. But it says Best Buy 12-16-23. So either the beer was actually canned on 12-16, which would be weird that we just got it um, after it was canned in December, or they're giving this a ten month shelf life. I, I don't know. I mean, see for yourself. Best buy twelve. Uh, what is it? Twelve sixteen twenty three. I don't know. That's very very weird to me. So if anybody knows the answer, let me know. Are they giving this beer a 10 month shelf life or was this canned in December or was it canned in like January or February and we're getting a long ass shelf life. Let's go ahead and get this poured. It's been a minute since we've had a West Coast IPA review on the channel. So I'm excited to get into this one. I do love a good West Coast IPA. So appearance wise, uh, it comes in a little hazier than I was expecting it to. I was almost expecting like a uh, crystal clear type beer, but uh, anyway, uh, two and a half fingers of creamy, fluffy off white head, um, lots of carbonation bubbles streaming up. As you can probably let me maneuver this light a little bit. I had it all right, so you can probably see, yeah, there's a ton of carbonation bubbles streaming up, but let's go ahead and shove our nose in it, see what it's all about. Yeah, it smells like a West Coast IPA. It's got a, a little bit of a malt uh, backbone to it. A little bready, a little uh, caramel sweetness. The caramel might be adding a little bit of that color as well. I don't know if they're using caramel malt, but I'm assuming they are. I'm getting a little bit of a caramel um, crystal malt type of aroma. Uh, aside from that, I'm getting some like light grapefruit notes. A little citrusy, some pineapple, maybe a little bit of an herbaceous type of note. It's not extremely explosive on the nose, but it does smell uh, quite nice, and it does have you know the characteristics of a West Coast IPA. So I'm gonna just call it there. Let's go ahead and dive in. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty tasty. Not as bitter up front as I was expecting uh, out of a West Coast IPA, but there is, uh, you know, a bit of bitterness there. It's just not uh, like in your face bitterness. Medium mouthfeel. It's got an effervescence to it. It's got a, a decent amount of carbonation. Uh, very bubbly. There's definitely an herbaceous, like, green dankness to it as well. You're still picking up that bready and caramel type of uh, a malt backbone to it. Uh, as far as the hops go, still getting, like, a little bit of, like, a bittersweet grapefruit. A little bit of like an orange peel, orange zest. A little bit of like an underripe uh, pineapple note as well. It's a little grassy as well. That herbaceous note kind of peeks its head back in near the on the back of the palate there. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad uh, West Coast I West Coast IPA by any means. Uh, it's not blowing me away either. Uh, it is leaving some nice lacing on the glass, though. I will say that. But, um, yeah, it's kind of um, 
you know, uh, it, it's well done. Uh, I would call it, I don't want to say hybrid, like East Coast New England or West Coast New England IPA hybrid, but um, I'll just say maybe a new school West Coast IPA. Like it's just a little bit more juicy hops, a little bit less of the malt, less bitterness. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, it's not bad at all. I would definitely drink this again. Um, it's still tasty. Um, so let me know if you've had it. I uh, would love to hear from you. Again, this is uh, Untitled Arts West Coast Style IPA. And as for a rating on this one, I'm just going to go with a solid four, um, just right down the line. Uh, I think it's tasty. Like I said, I would drink it again. So uh, solid beer. Uh, it's tasty. It's good. So we'll leave it at that. Let me know if you've had this one. We'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Or subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.